I just want to say a quick thank you to my early birds. If you want to be featured in my next video, remember to comment before the premiere ends and I'll catch all of the comments there and put it in the next one. Before we dive into the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe because it will help my channel a lot and I'll appreciate you guys a lot for doing so. So welcome back and today we are going to do Effie's Apple Federation tier list. And we are looking at all these suits here so I painstakingly went to and googled every single image that I have for every single suit in order to make this list. And here we are going to rank them on a scale of S being the best and E as in the worst. I put E because I needed more tiers because there's like 108 or something of these suits. So let's look at number one. This is exclusive. And I personally think that exclusive is pretty, it's okay. It looks like there is a very sad soft serve on her head that kind of deflated. So I'm not really digging her hair, but it is different from everything we've used before. And before we start to rank these suits, I think I'm going to rank them based on how I like them. Um, whether they have some incredible top scoring items that I remember, overall aesthetics of it, and the method of obtaining these suits. So I think that it's fair and my rankings might not necessarily be the same as yours. That's totally fine because at the end of the video, I'll link this tier list maker for you in the description box below so that you guys can make your own and then you can tag me on Instagram when you finish making your own tier list. Okay, so back to exclusive. The only redeeming feature of this entire outfit is actually the dog with the snapback over there. Because not only does it not fit his head, you can see that there is an ID card with the dog's face on it and I think that it's absolutely adorable. I'll put it at D for dog. Next is Frost Rose and honestly she is stunning. The red is amazing, the tree is pretty good, but the hair is also very pretty. And her makeup is stunning because we rarely have any yellow eyed makeup and she really looks seductive. So the yellow in her eyes plus the red in her dress is amazing. This is a suit that I don't want to roast but the only reason why I'm keeping her off the S list is because I remember that this suit was pretty expensive to get. Let me just google it real quick. It was a recharge for 2400 VIP. That's hella expensive and I think that it's not worth that amount given that the suit doesn't have a lot of versatile parts besides the tree and the makeup. So this is why this stays at an A rank. So for this one, this wasn't actually a free suit. It's something where you had to get from the Zodiac Lucky Packs. It's like backlit cord where it's like a gacha. You buy a set and hopefully that set contains full at first sight. So I didn't end up getting it because I thought that it was super plain and the gacha aspect of it was so dumb. So I put it at an E because it's very plain. Again, like compared to everything here, it's plain. The method of obtaining it is stupid and overall it's a mess suit. Next we have Miss Hesper and I honestly don't like this suit. This suit was from the Ring Fantasy event. The reason why I didn't get this suit was because we had like seven pink outfits in a row. And I'm like, dude, like I had enough. Like I don't even like it at this point. And I honestly think that it's kind of tacky. So I'm just gonna have to keep it at E. So I personally think that the makeup of this suit is very lit. I absolutely love the hair that she has. The stage lights apparently are kind of good. I like the added pose where she has her leg up on the stage light, so that is a really cute thing. Otherwise, her outfit is honestly really plain. So I wasn't a fan of the event, but I am kind of a fan of this outfit, mainly because of the hair, the makeup, and the tattoo. So I think I'm going to put it at AC for now. Okay, so this one was hella expensive. It was so expensive. But I think there was a reason for this because number one, the makeup is gorgeous. The hair was also very nice. But funnily enough, it's called Sex City. The blood was super cool. I wish I had that, but I don't understand why there was blood. And the helicopter itself was also very cool. I loved the black and red theme going on and she really looks super cool. I honestly didn't notice that she had a gun until I went to her unposed version. And I'm like, oh my god, she looks so cool. And I love the cape. I love everything about her. She looks like Black Widow, but like for a crow. No, she does look like Black Widow because she has like the black and red theme going on. So this recharge was incredibly expensive because it was 3,900 VIP points. So the fact that it's so unattainable because it's not a reasonable amount of money to spend on this game. 
I think I'm just gonna put it at a B. Now, so this is a very scandalous outfit because if you guys don't know, I made a video on this already, but the I Do coat was a super, super, super rare item. And then suddenly, because a lot of people were unhappy with the stats, Love Nikki decided to nerf the heck out of this suit. Like, it's crazy. The nerf was so bad, it was no longer a top scoring item. A lot of people bought this outfit just for the top scoring. I think they should have just balanced the outfit before putting it out, but then because of the backlash, now the outfit is kind of useless. And the pose I really like. I just didn't buy it because it was kind of gacha based as well. I don't know, this, this suit was overall very sketchy. It's very bulky. So for now, I think I'm going to leave this at a D. No, I think I'm going to put it at an E because that was kind of sketchy of them. Okay, so next, Panda Brawler. So I did like this suit. This is the censored version of it. Uh, you no longer see the red parts. I think it's blue now. And then they don't have chains around them. Anymore. I love pandas. Pandas are like China's national treasure slash animal. And I think that this outfit is super cool. And I love it when Love Nikki just brings animals into the suits. So you'll see that I'm biased towards any suits that contain animals. So for this one, I think I'm going to leave it at a B. Or a, yeah, I'm going to leave it at a B because you had to buy it from a lucky pack. So that was kind of annoying. And it's, it's, it's nice, but it isn't that nice. So funnily enough, I actually didn't like Peacock Pavane because, or Pavin, Pavane, I don't know. The leg of it was so weird, like she looks like a tree stump. It looks like a big nail on her foot. I don't know, it just looks really weird. Um, the peacock is really nice itself, but the overall concept of this dress, it could have been executed way nicer. And if it was actually a peacock, I don't see why they used a white peacock and not the traditional green one with the turquoise and the blue and the black because I think that one would be, make the suit much more prettier and much more eye-catching. So because this was such a failed idea, E you go. So I honestly fell in love with Graffiti Tempest when I started playing the game because I thought she was so cool. The headphones, the spray cans, the jumpsuit all the way up to her neck slash mouth. That's so cool and her tattoo is cool and everything about her is really darn cool. Like, it screams badass. Her hair is like also a light tint blue. It really contrasts with the yellow and the black. Like I don't know, everything about this is so cool. So I think I'm going to give her a solid B. So I actually skateboard as well. Like I love this. I love the bandage on her face. I love the bubble gum she's blowing. Her sideways cap, her overall outfit and tattoos and aesthetic is actually to die for. So you're actually an A for me. Now this one was one of my first few events that I had and I found that the suit wasn't very versatile at all so I decided not to get it. The only thing that's redeeming about this outfit is the makeup and the hair but otherwise I think that it's whatever and that the suit is whatever. I also use the makeup a lot so I think I'm going to put it at a healthy I actually wanted to complete this one first because I thought that the car she had, I like how it's called an SUV but it's not an SUV. The overall aesthetic of this piece was nicer than the blue one in my opinion. I wish that there wasn't that weird black streak in her hair and I also wish that her hair was actually a different color besides having that black streak. Maybe like with a different streak? I don't know like or maybe red hair that would be nice. But I do like her pose because Love Nikki what they do best is always making their legs look so good. Look how long and slender and amazing her legs look. If only I could have those legs. I think I'm gonna keep her as a C as well. Prom, I never really associated, I never really thought of anything about prom because I went to an all girls school. So prom wasn't really a thing. Prom proposals weren't really a thing either. So that was kind of annoying. And I don't really care about prom and the dress is whatever to me. So I think I might be a hater, but I do like the hair and I do kind of like the makeup. But the makeup does look a little weird because the eyes look too big for her face. The one thing I do like is that her nails and toenails are colored purple. The silver stiletto from Prom Princess, if you look closely, you can see that the toenails are already painted. So that's why she has purple toenails in the outfit. But otherwise, I think it's just like a D because it doesn't look that good and the outfit isn't that versatile to begin with. Dude, this one was so cool. I liked it a lot, but I also didn't really like how not beefy his arms were. I think that as a quarterback or whatever type of football player he is, he should be more bulky, but I guess for the aesthetics of the game, it's better that he's scrawny. I also don't like how both these outfits just never returned. I don't know what event it was, it was way before my time, but now it's just crafting and it's so expensive. 
but for him, I don't see how the outfit is very versatile because it's really hard to style male outfits on Love Nikki. But this is one of my favorite male outfits from Love Nikki, so I think I'm gonna give him like a C. Now, White Blossom. I don't think I even need to say anything about it. Yes, it's a lifetime suit, and yes, it's really hard to get, but this is one of the prettiest lifetime suits. That I've seen so far and you get 40 diamonds from it with like a lot of different things from the styling box. The fact that the suit is technically free makes it a huge plus. I think that this is an S rank because even though it's hard to get it's still free at the end of the day. So Sakura Mochi Rabbit, it is, it was a stamina event I think. It was a, like a type of stamina event and I was not ready for it because that was when Love Nikki did back to back to back stamina events and I was so upset because I really wanted the I do really like the color of her eyes, but unfortunately, the entire outfit is just meh to me. If you look at it closely, I think the only redeeming feature of it is the Sakura Mochi Rabbit. I think I'm going to put her at a D. So Sly Angel was actually one of my favorite outfits when I started playing Love Nikki because I loved the syringe, I loved her makeup, I loved her outfit because of the transparency of her skirt. I think that the plastic skirt aesthetic of it was really nice because you got to see through it and it says heartbeat and she looks so cute and the syringe's pink is so nice and she has an IV stand next to her so I wish I could have gotten the suit. I don't have it. I wish to get it one day but I think that this suit is actually really cute and I think I'm going to give it an A. So I'm going to have to be a hater here but I really dislike his hair. I don't like how long it is and I don't like how it kind of like swishes outwards. I also don't like his makeup because it looks like he has mascara on and I'm not saying that guys can't wear mascara but for this outfit it just looks a little weird. I think it might look better if he had black hair but then this is called the white demon so I kind of understand why it's like why he has hair like that. But I think if we change it to black hair he'd look like Lucien or Lucien from um, Mr. Love so that's kind of neat. I think I'm just going to put him at a D because I don't really like him so I'll put D for demon. <laughs> Trefoil Fair is something that you can get from the Salas Contest store, which is from the competition. There's nothing really super cool about it besides the bag of leggings because it's translucent. The suit just didn't captivate me enough. It doesn't come with makeup. Regardless, I think it's going to settle at an E for me, just because it's such a boring suit in my opinion. Or maybe a D because of her handbag. Tender Puppy. So I don't like poodles. I'm sorry if you have poodles, I, but her cape in this is fantastic. Her cape is really good and I always see people using it. And I actually really like the color scheme of this because the blue slash turquoise and the black and the orange hair makes her look so posh and polished. And her doggy, like poodles are kind of high-end dogs sometimes. It's usually portrayed as high-end dogs, so I can totally see the aesthetic of this. It was kind of expensive to get with Jingle Kitty, but I think I'm gonna put it at a C. As for Jingle Kitty, it's so cute. I love the mismatched eyes. I love her paws and I love the ears. I wish I could get the entire outfit. The only down part is that it's expensive and it doesn't look very versatile to use. And I don't like how the ears are a part of the hair, so it's a shame that I won't be able to use it separately. So I think for that reason, it will settle for a B. For Summer Lemon, you have to exchange it in the Room of Mystery, and I honestly hate doing that because these outfits are very coin expensive. The only redeeming quality of this outfit is the hair because it's kind of like an ombre. It goes from blue to silver to purple, and that's the only thing I really like about this suit. Kind of meh, I think I'm going to put it at D. Now, I hate Dynamic Na Maiden because in order to complete it, you need to spend like 200 to 300 diamonds to complete the top and bottom. I think it's like the dumbest thing ever. I also hate the hair because she looks so dumb with it. Everything about this is dumb besides the little life boy because she has Momo on it and I think that's super cute. But otherwise, it's like whatever to me and I'm going to put it as a D. Mori Girl, I don't like the outfit. I don't like her hair and I hate the way you have to get it because you have to get it from the elemental uh, reconstruction thing so it's very expensive and the reward is kind of decent but at the end of the day still don't like it I hate the method of obtaining the suit and the only and one more thing that I think I see is that she has a lamb on her head on her chest and on her sleeve so that's kind of cute but not cute enough for me to bring her to a D uh, time idol like what is this even how do you get this so yeah, this is like a hard E for me because of the difficulty in getting this outfit. The reward is pretty good, but not good enough for me to bring it back to a D. So that's why you're staying there. 
look, we have a nice staircase going on. I like that. Next we have this detective girl. The only thing I can say about this outfit is that it's hard to get because you have to get it from the stylist store. I think that it's quite expensive and that it's kind of messed, so I'm going to put it at E. Like, this isn't even worth my time to mention. Same with Winter Miracle. This suit is so dumb because it's literally the outfit that Nikki wears, I think. And the hair warmness is beautiful, but it's so hard to get from this stupid pavilion. Like, it takes you a million years or it takes you a million coins, in, or no, billions of coins, in order to even get something close to this. So even after playing for two years, I only have two out of six of this. So although I love warmness and it's one of my favorite hairs, it's a hard seat mainly because it's so incredibly difficult to get the suit. Same with Seal Sailor. I love the diver on her, but not only is this suit incredibly hard to get, the reward from it is stupid too. So I think it's a D, even though it has really cute seals on it. Pastry Cook, it's really unfortunate that both the hair and the apron are diamond required, and the reward from this is a stupid shirt, so I think that although it's kind of cute, the socks don't match, the apron and the hair are expensive. The hair is pink by the way, so something pink plus blue socks and brown. Like, this doesn't work, so it's a hard E for me. Bunny Girl is another dumb one. So the reward of Bunny Girl kind of offsets the cost of her hair. It's kind of nice to complete an outfit, but I still kind of rebel in my own petty way by not buying it and not completing it because I'm like, no, I don't want to pay money for a doll gold because I don't think it's a pretty hair and I'm going to put it at a E because I don't like it that much. Box Dream is a pavilion. It was very expensive to get both suits. I think both suits was 4,800 diamonds in total and that's only for two suits. But I love the box. I love the Barbie-esque theme of it. It's very, it's more Barbie than the actual Barbie dolls, even though the Barbie dolls were inspired by previous Barbies. But this one I really love and that's the reason why I got her in the first place. Her makeup is kind of hard to use because she looks a little weird. But the whole aesthetic and the pink aesthetic of this is definitely in my alley and I think that it's a solid A for me. Backlight cord is one of the ones I love to hate, but I actually love but I also love to love. It's always going to be my honorable mention because although it's very messy, each individual part of the suit is really top scoring. It was super cheap for me. I love how the hair is an ombre because it goes from silver to purple and everything about it is very very fine. So I think that it's a solid A for me. Um, the Everlasting Melody was free. I like that they incorporated different instruments into the game. I'm kind of weirded out that it's not in troop. The hair is very fun to use. It looks like, um, who is it? It looks like Jisoo's hair in this Kill This Love video. And I don't know, like, I like the gold tinge to it and I also like the fact that it was free. But it's not that special, so I think that it's, it just deserves its place with C. Because look at all the other C contenders, like, girl, you, you're doing well. Lollipop Sweetheart, what was this again? This was a cumulative recharge, so um, I forgot what suit it was with. I forgot, yeah, I forgot what suit it was with. I just got it because I had to get another suit. I don't think it's, in, I don't think like it's adorable, but it's going to be an E for me. The bunny one here was funny because the bunny suit actually looked more of an Easter bunny suit compared to the actual Easter event. I'm just gonna put it at a D. The sweet spell is one of my favorite suits in Love Nikki. I think that it's so intricately made. Every single part of the suit is very nice. Her hair is kind of weird, but um, her makeup is one of my favorite makeups in the game. I love her pose. I love everything she has. I think that this is a solid S. And just for laughs, I'm just going to put up her censored version. I think her censored version is a darn joke, so I'm going to put it at a D for spite. Ice Waltz was really nice. It's one of my first suits I got on Love Nikki. I like the pose. I love the hand, how you can use it to look like you're choking someone. Otherwise, like it's kind of hard to use the suit. I think that just because of its usability in the Star Corridor and all the memes I've seen out of it, I think D would be suitable for it. Demon Lament is the outfit that is host to one of the most memeable makeups ever. I think that this suit overall, it's really nice from the hair and the meme of her makeup. Otherwise, her suit's kind of really hard to use. I do use her super stage a lot. She has that going for her. But I think that she only deserves a B because like, it was my first Hell event and I actually didn't really like the suit. I ended up regretting it a little. But you know what? Things happen and I think she just deserves a B. Actually, I really like Virtual Melody because it kind of reminded me of Hatsune Miku. I don't know why. I like her hair. I like her, her like I love her piano around her. It actually reminds me of DJ Sona. For those of you who play League. 
and I love her pose, so that is something that I love. And she was the third note, so super affordable. I think she deserves a A. I actually liked Tornado Rhapsody back in the days, but then now I've outgrown my tastes. I think that the suit is super bulky. I really don't like the color scheme. The only thing she has going for her is her makeup, but I usually use it as a male because she looks pretty androgynous. I like her hair a lot, but it's also kind of hard to use because of her color scheme. It's like orange and blue. And I don't really use her background item, which is Meteor Neon, a lot, so I think she deserves a spot in like D. The drummer set, it's very plain, it's whatever. I think I did multiple videos on these guys, so I'm just gonna put both Power Reinforce. No, I'm gonna put um, Thunder Beat in E. But I'm going to put Power Reinforced in D because it has one of my favorite hosieries in the game. You can see the super cute cat peeking out from her thigh. Hip Hop Queen is one of my favorite outfits, not only because it's Love Nikki's attempt of diversity, I think, but it's also so cool. Like, she's in a non-sarcastic way, she's really swag. <laughs> and I actually made a an outfit of her. Kind of, it's inspired by her and Lisa, and it got a lot of traction on Instagram, so she has like a special place in my heart. She deserves a spot at E. I don't like shopping, that's it. I'm gonna put it at E, because I don't like it. Uh, Youth Storm was a free thing. It had one of my favorite makes. Like, I really liked using the tattoos because they were the only tattoos I had. But now looking back, and like it did, it did help me, so I think it deserves a spot in D. Midnight Prisoner was one of the first male suits I had, and I was so excited to get it. I thought he was super cool. Hated his makeup though, but loved his hair. He actually looks really cute with Tornado Rhapsody's makeup. I think he just deserves a spot at A because I like him. I think he's really cool. And I love Crime Buster because of the corgis. My boyfriend has a corgi, and corgis are adorable. One of them has a donut. She has the most cutest and the most mischievous smile ever. She has guns. She has the keep out, which is the which is very versatile in the side corridor. And then also her hair is very cute. So I give this outfit a solid A, but not S material. Sweet Superstar, I don't like the hair a lot, but I love her outfit and I've used her quite a few times. I love her makeup, I love her shoes. Um her whole aesthetic is really nice, though I don't really see myself using it a lot, so I think I'm gonna give her a B. I love it because my parents had seven Pomeranians and this girl has one, two, three, four, five, pretty close to my parents, but these palms are adorable and the fact that the pose is so natural. Yeah, Fluffy Heart is amazing because you can just put the shoes on and it's a pose. So that's one thing I love about the suit. Like this suit I think is A material. Love Letters to the Sky is one of my favorite suits ever, mostly because of the whole concept of it. Like the airplanes, you can see that there's clouds or like a tint of cloud on the airplane. You can see how her skirt has beautiful, beautiful clouds. Her pose is always very versatile. I love her hair. I love everything about her. So she deserves a spot in S. Little Adventure is like pretty decent. Like it's just decent. So I'll put her at D. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not amazing. Same with Chief Dresser. I kind of like the gold aesthetic of it. I can see myself using her to replicate other types of movie stars, maybe. And I don't know, we'll see. I'll put her at D, a, a, a solid D. Baseball Girl, I like the concept of it. Actually, I really do like the concept of it. But it still serves as a D because it's not amazing, but it's not really bad, so. Feather Attached is one of my favorite ones because not only does she have a pose, she has a beautiful dress, and her background items are amazing. So that the suit deserves a place at S because it's also an association suit. So it's actually not that difficult to get the suit, in my opinion. Federal Police Woman, I remember having trouble with her because I needed to craft a gun, but otherwise it's like whatever. I think it's an E. Like, uh, no comment. Banquet Phantom, I don't see myself using this one a lot, but the prize was amazing. So I'm just going to put it at a D. Maple Fox has one of the most memeable ones, and I think I'm just going to put it at AC because it's kind of funny, and I like the fox around his neck. And the concept was cute, it's just the face, but the face is the reason why it became so popular in the first place, so I'll give him that. Sugar Chestnut, I hate the hair, but I like the aesthetic because it's very Tumblr-esque, I don't know, so I'll put it at AD. Stormy Melody was one of my favorite suits because not only was it in the competition, it came with a makeup, and I love the makeup with her. I love the green hair and the orange hair, and I think that it was one of the most worth getting competition suits that you can get. And I think she deserves a spot in D. 
Like, I don't feel like she's C material. Like, look at everybody at C. Like, she's just not there yet. Pink Raspberry was kind of a free suit. It was really nice because it was one of the suits that were flashier. I love the pink and the purple in her skirt. I love the two-toned hair color. And I think she still deserves a slot in the D. Now, I'm gonna put out C. It's pretty nice. Tipsy has Snow. I actually really like this one. But it's kind of plain compared to all the other suits. So I think she deserves a spot in D. And then, um, Heavy Machinery, I really love the concept of it, so I'm going to put it at C because it's one of the chapter suits and I think it's so nice. Bouquet Bike is one of my favorite suits as well because the pose is really nice. It comes with the bike and she kind of looks like she's not dabbing. I don't know my dance moves, but there's one dance move that kind of looks like that and kind of makes me giggle all the time. But she deserves a spot here because, I don't know, I'm very fond of this outfit. Maybe because of the flowers in the bike. And Crown Rose E. Miss Freem E. I don't like it. Wonderful Holidays. It was the first free suit. I liked how Love Nikki gave us a lot of free suits, so maybe I'll give her a D. Rippling Silk, I, I kind of did like, but I think I'm going to give it a C, mainly because it's not that special, but the one thing I do love about her is her dress because it just becomes water, so that's really nice. Sheba and Croak because she has a Sheba and a frog on her head, umbrella, and on her stomach. I think that the suit is absolutely adorable, very cheap to get, and I think it's B material. Cherry Youth, it's whatever. I used to have a, I used to have a dress like that. It's kind of nice. Like, I like themes, so I think I'm just going to give it a D. See what Tiger can. It's kind of like a furry thing, but I love, absolutely love the tattoo on her, on her um, on her abdomen. So I think that because of this, instead of giving her an E, I'll give her a D. I know a lot of these are Ds, but like, I'm trying to be realistic here. Not everybody can be the best, so yeah. Lunar Spell, I think I'm going to give her a C, mainly because of her cat, Milu. The cat is completely free to get. This outfit is free. There are two versions of the cat. One is purple, dark purple, one's black. Milu reminds me of the cat from Cardcaptor Sakura. It's not Kiro Barrow, but the other cat. I forgot the name of it, but I'll put a picture up. Sweet Sunshine, I think it's a B material because because <laughs> she's a B. Or, yeah. But the makeup, the outfit itself, and I think it was free suit. And how top scoring the suit is. This is like a lazy suit. You can just slap it on and call it a day for a lot of event stages because it's just so top scoring and I love it. Sugar Cheerleader, I don't like how the pom-poms are separate. It looks kind of tacky to me, so I'm going to put it at an e, as an E. This skateboard girl literally does no justice to the name. The other skateboard girl was way better and I think that she just deserves a humble spot at E. Taking Strawberry is ugly. E. Oil Painter is whatever. E. Magic Scar. If I could add a new glow that says bad, I would. Like, this is the worst outfit ever because it's so hard to craft. It takes so much money to craft. And the only thing you get in return is earrings. And I think it's like one earring, so E. But I would have put it at the lowest spot if I could. Flower Tail came free, I think. It came free with Cosmo Tide, I think, but it's like very plain. I didn't ask for it. It's nice that I got it though, but still, I don't really like the dress. It looks kind of bad. This is a plain youth melody by Vintage Lady. It's kind of nice, but still, nah. Sheer Dance, I was waiting for it because I love the hair, I love the dress, and at the end of the day, I think she still deserves a spot at B because she only has four items. And although she only cost coins and it was basically free to get, it's like very plain. Dear Elf, Roman was one of my favorite hairs. I think I'm going to put it at C because it's a very heavy evolution suit. But Roman hair really deserves a spotlight because it was one of my favorite hairs when I started playing this game. Ink wash painting, E. Like it's not special. Striped Gentleman is atrocious, E. Winter Angel, because you get it every turn, there's no recolor, and I just keep decomposing it. It's such a waste of money. Wild Flower, I think it's ugly. I don't like the color scheme. E. Blossom Season. I mean, they tried, but it just didn't work out. E. Bright Galaxy. Never liked the hair. I had a problem with it. I remember Burn also had a problem with it. So that's an E. Dancing Queen, I think is ugly. E. Panda Dreamland, I actually kind of liked. I'll put it at a D. Cowboy Style is one of the worst hairstyles I've ever seen in my entire life. 
I hate the overall outfit. But I don't think she really deserves that much hate because of Demon's scarf. It has saved me on multiple occasions, so I'll give it a D. Chocolate Housemaid, I actually really liked it, so D. Mori Girl was stupid because your completion prize was stupid. You have to buy a multicolor scarf, but like this entire outfit was very top scoring, so I think instead of putting it at E, it deserved a spot at D. Beautiful Agent was super expensive, though I did like it, so D. I hated Sexy Bad Girl. Hated it. I hate wild hair. Angel and white, very plain. No thanks. Pizza, fast food one. I think it's funny because if you ever read the description of the items, you'd know why I like it. Plus, it's 50 diamonds, so I'll give it a spot at D. Sacred Doctor, I'm going to give a spot at D because it's very plain compared to the Sly Angel and the White Demon. Rock Singer, I hate the haircut. Absolutely atrocious. Diamond Mermaid has a very stunning and beautiful dress. I'll give it a C. So this is my overall tier list for Apple Federation. I hope you guys enjoyed because this was a very difficult um, video to make. It's very long, grueling. It, I had to screenshot every single one of these ones, go through the Apple Federation like 10 million times. But yeah, if you like more videos like this, I'll try to do it for other kingdoms. Maybe not Pigeon, Lilith, and Cloud in the meantime, or maybe I'll do it in separate parts because they have like hundreds of clothes. And this one was already near a hundred, so yeah. I'll leave everything in the description box below. You can make your own template. I'd love to see your thoughts and your rankings of the suits. Let me know in the comments below if you dis or if you strongly, strongly disagree with anything I put up here or strongly, strongly agree with anything I put up here. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you like my content. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!